Hey guys, it's Armadillo Alex here, and today I'm with my good friend Gannett Gabriel. And what we're going to be doing today is showing you how to build a bivouac. Okay, so basically, guys, uh, we're in the middle of a week of camping in Gloucester, and uh, today's task is to make a bivouac to sleep in tonight. Uh, so we've actually already started making our bivouac. There's a uh, there it is at the moment, but basically, if you didn't know, a bivouac is um, a shelter made out of uh, just the forest around you. You've got to pad it with moss, ferns, holly, that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to be sleeping in one tonight, so we're going to be making sure it's watertight and ready to go in. I think to say, Gannett. Respect the person who has the knife. All right, guys, so right now, Gannett Gabriel is uh, cutting down some holly. Um, and that's going to be the first layer of our of our padding uh, inside the, the bivouac. All right, guys. Um, so we've been working about half an hour, I reckon. And as you can see, we've we've, we've made a good start on the on the, the first the first wall bit of our our bivouac. Um, we've just tested how uh, how long we're going to need it. Alex's back is plastered with mud and twigs. Yeah, I I led, I led underneath it. Um, the but yeah, well, we've existed. yep, and uh, we're we gathering some holly right now. We haven't got that much, but yeah, we're getting the bed in. Uh, so we'll see you in a bit. Right now, guys, we can see a wild Gabriel relaxing in a half-made bivouac. So yeah, as you can see, we've done one one wall of roughly done one wall of the bivouac, and we obviously need to put more sticks to fill in the gaps and more ferns. But before we do that, uh, we're gonna we've got some holly over. The, over there as you can see but we need to get more holly more ferns more moss to pad the inside we're gonna need a lot of it uh to make sure we're watertight tonight but yeah we'll see you in a minute when we get some more aren't we gabriel I suppose so <laughs> all right guys so uh gabriel's just gone to get some water go to the toilet and uh yeah as you can see i've already said but we have built most of the wall and right now uh Tearing the leaves off holly to use for the first layer of bedding. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot of it, but we do have all day, so we, we've got we've got plenty of time to make sure it's watertight and ready to sleep in later. So see you in a minute. All right, guys. So um, about to head off to lunch. Bit of tomato soup. As you can see, we've started building up the other wall of the bivouac, and we've collected a, a decent amount of holly for the first layer of bedding. Um, and from the well, the, here's the twine that we've made from the the branches of the holly, right? The Gabriel's holding, Gannett Gabriel's holding it nicely for us. Um, so yeah, we're making good progress, and we shall see you after lunch. Huzzah. All right, guys, here's the bivouac so far, and as you can see in front of us, uh, that's the first of the ferns uh, that we've collected. And the idea of them is to uh, to put them against the the sides of the bivouac. Uh, to waterproof them and to insulate them uh, uh, So yeah, we've already got that bit and I just collected another bag of ferns uh, So yeah, I'm gonna get to work to putting them on some more of the sides in a minute And I'm also just cut this holly as well, which is going to um, It's go on the inside as it already is so yeah Here we have Gabriel spreading these lovely ferns <laughs> onto the sides of the bivouac. Okay guys, so it's about three o'clock. Uh, we've we'll show you what we've done on the bivouac so far. So as you can see we completely ferned one side of it. Look at that. It's a little our little home. Um, and then we'll First take yeah, Armadillo and uh, Gannett to Gabriel. And then here's the other side, which we haven't found yet, but we think we've got enough sticks for it, which is good. Um, and finally, take that knife away from you, Gabriel. Finally, uh, we've we've got enough holly for the inside. It's nice green, nice nice structure, nice uh, waterproofing, I guess. I escaped. But anyway, um, we're just going to be spending a couple of hours now getting ferns to finish the outside, pad the, pad the inside, 
and then it'll basically be done. We'll just get some moss and shove our sleeping bags in there and we'll be ready for tonight. Does so yeah. Hard. Okay guys, so uh, it's about five o'clock now in the afternoon, obviously. Uh, and we've collected loads of ferns. We've managed to cover the whole of the bivouac in ferns. Uh, but we have and still need to uh, collect uh, a lot more ferns. We've, we've <laughs> like at least 20 bags of ferns overall. More than that, but um, there's so many ferns we need because we, it looks like we've covered the outside well, but apparently we still need to cover it a lot more because there's gaps. It it's meant to be about this thick, so. Yeah, um, so it needs to, that needs to be done. And then, although, we'll show you, in the, show you the inside. Uh, so yeah, we've got some moss and, uh, what do you call them, holly leaves in there. But we need to have, we need to have it filled up to like about there uh, to sleep on. So it we've got, insane, but we'll crush it. We've, we've got a lot, a lot of ferns to collect, a lot. So um, we'll probably uh, see you after dinner and hopefully we should have collected uh, a lot more ferns, but it is a lot of work to do. So yeah. It's uh, hard be easy. All right guys, we found a frog. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. Oh yeah, it's there. All right guys, not sure if you can see me, um, but uh, at the moment we're at the bivouac. It's, uh, it's about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, something like that. Uh, and we have completed it just about. Uh, it's due to rain tonight, so we will see if it's okay. Um, and I'll show you the inside right now, but it's too dark, but we've got a lot of fern bin bags. We've got our sleeping bags. Uh, shine the torch from me, Gabriel. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, my coat on, my hoodie, everything really. Uh, trying to keep it all out. We've even got some food, a bit of water. But yeah, we'll, we'll see you inside the bivouac. Won't we, Gabriel? Yes, we will. All right, guys, it may look like I'm just in a tent, but I am, in fact, inside the bivouac. There's uh, some wood. Uh, not sure if you can see the moss, yeah? Moss beside me, ferns. As you can see, Gabriel is just a... Uh... <laughs> Gabriel is getting his waterproofs on. He'll be coming to join me in a minute, where we will cuddle, I mean, uh, sleep. <laughs> Hello, it's Gannett Gabriel here, Armadillo Alex. Yep. We're in the tent now. You mean a bivouac, Gabriel? Oh god, whatever it is, bivouac tents. Yeah, it's all weird and cramped and... Yeah, it's well, too... Gabriel is a bit scared, but to be honest, I'm quite warm. Um, especially my feet. Uh, yeah, the only bugs I've seen is a couple of wood lice. Hopefully we won't wake up in the morning with a millipede uh, oh, on us. in my sleep now. <laughs> but you. yeah, um, it's been good knowing you. <laughs> Alex. All right then, guys, um, we're going to go to sleep now, uh, get the night over with. Hopefully it won't rain too hard. Um, so yeah. it's Armadillo out for me and... Gannett Gabriel out from Gabriel. Hey, guys, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, Gabriel's just woken up, but I've been up most of the night. I just couldn't manage to get to sleep very much, and then, so it wasn't a very good night for me, really. But We survived, and the only thing that's wet... Uh, is uh, well, apart from the outside of the bivouac, obviously, is uh, the, the very ends of our sleeping bags because they were poking out in out of the bivouac. But we therefore we made the bivouac pretty well because we didn't go wet. Is Gabriel guys? How, how are you feeling, Gabriel? I'm feeling very tired. Do you think the bivouac worked well? I think we didn't put enough on the outside. Really? Did no. you get wet? Um, I got a little damp, yeah, I feel all kind of wet, and they leaked a bit, we probably need a lot more ferns, but apart from that, the structure held up in general, didn't blow away. I think my side was a bit better than Gabriel's. But... Though it was a bit damp, it wasn't so damp you couldn't sleep, so we got a little bit of sleep, but not that much. Yeah. So, it's time to say goodbye to the bivouac. Goodbye bivouac. You were shit, but you were the good kind of shit, if you know what I mean. You will not be missed that much, but yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, bivouac.